And Sasha, we're all about the Met Gala, aren't we? You've been casting your critical eye over the stars. Anna Wintour was insanely bad. And this is the chairperson <laughs> of the event. She's the editor-in-chief of Vogue. I hated the Chanel dress on Julianne Moore when she wore it in black and white to the Oscars. I hate it even more in this gaudy orange-red color. And I can't even talk about the sleeves, so let's just move on to Kris Jenner. <laughs> Kris Jenner in Balma which is just a travesty of bad taste. I almost want to say that this is maybe another Kardashian, you know, attempt for publicity, but I just think she doesn't know that it's that tacky and that's the problem. And finally, Dylan Lauren, who is the daughter of Ralph Lauren. She is part of the dynasty of one of the greatest American fashion designers who's living today. She looks like a Shania Twain impersonator. And her father designed this dress. Parents are supposed to protect their children, not hurt them. And then here comes Beyonce wearing what we're going to call a dress. But basically, it's mesh with some very strategically placed rhinestones. And you know what? If you got it and Beyonce's got it, you flaunt it. And in that Givenchy, she is flaunting it. It was incredible. The other person who just looked horrendous <laughs> was Tracy Ellis Ross, wearing this ill-fitted, shoulder-padded, unzipped, way too far, black leather jumpsuit. And I live for a jumpsuit, especially one that looks like it was stolen from the set of Top Gun. But this, she's Diana Ross's <laughs> child. This is embarrassing. This was chic, it was subtle, and it was sexy in all the right ways. Also, Megan Trainer wearing this dark, sparkly, bagly Mishka dress with just the right amount of Spanx. I thought she looked phenomenal, and she's coming up, and I feel like this is a really good way to make an impact on a red carpet. On the other hand, worst dress, J-Lo hit that carpet, and I started singing in my head. Her name was J-Lo. <laughs> she was a showgirl with hella extensions in her hair and a dress cut down to there. We get it, J-Lo. You're gorgeous. She's always been about the naked dress. Remember the dress she wore yeah. when she was with P. Diddy to the Grammys that yeah. made her career go to the A-list? We understand you're fabulous, but you're also a mother, and you're in your 40s. You don't have to prove you're still sexually viable. Let it go. Just because you're wearing head-to-toe Givenchy, that doesn't mean it looks good. And these, from like the boots that cut at the worst part of a woman's leg to the over-ruffles <laughs> that drown her, it was just not a good night for her, but she's 18. There's been way worse. Look at what Britney Spears was wearing when she was 18. I forgive her, and I'm sorry that I said something bad. She's a child. I'm not gonna trash it, because you know what? Solange Knowles always manages to be extremely interesting, and I will take interesting on a red carpet any day over boring and safe. Wearing this gold Michael Kors that had such incredible liquidity. It was a mock turtleneck, which sort of throws to the Susie Wong thing. Easy hair, perfect makeup, a great headpiece. But she proves time and again the best accessory on a red carpet is an excellent personal trainer. This woman has had two children. She's 36. She looked incredible. I love your fashion analysis. It's brutal, it's real. I can't wait to talk to you next week. <laughs> Sasha Pearl Raver joining us from Los Angeles.